Hello friends, welcome to our channel Civil Construction Topics. Today we are going to discuss about the topic that is water cement ratio. In general, while proportioning of the concrete design or while the utilization of concrete in any construction, the water cement ratio plays a major role. Either excess water cement ratio or low water cement ratio creates a problem in the construction. First we go through the definition of water cement ratio. The ratio is calculated by dividing the mass of the mixing water by the mass of the cement. Here, the water content we are used should be the water that is the free water in at the condition that the aggregates are in saturated surface dry. So it refers to the ratio corresponding to the saturated surface dry condition of the aggregate. For example, in the design or any concrete uh, mixed design. Cement, we are using cement of 400 kg and water of 160 kg. Here the water cement ratio is 160 by 400 which is equal to 0 0.4. So, okay. And next we will go through the water cementaceous material ratio. In certain cases, we will add some additional cementaceous material, materials such as fly ash, GGBS, micro silica or any other mineral admixture as a replacement of cement. In that cases, we will consider it as a water cementaceous material ratio. Uh, you, once I will uh, go through the definition of it. The ratio is calculated by dividing the mass of the mixing water by the combined mass of the cement and fly ash or any other cementaceous material or a combination thereof. It refers to the ratio corresponding to the saturated surface dry condition of aggregate. As discussed earlier, uh, the water we are using in the ratio is only the free water which does not include the absorption of the aggregate. In this case, you can say there is an example, cement. In this design, we are using cement 400 kg, mineral admixture 80 kg. So the total cementaceous material is 400 plus 80, that is 480 and water 160 kg. Here the water cementaceous material ratio is 160 by 480. So it is equivalent to 0 0.33. Okay. Next, for finalization of the water cement ratio, we can follow the two standards that is IS 456-2000 and IS 1026-2000. In IS 456-2000, there is a table of as a table file which is used for deciding the water cement ratio. And in IS10262, there is a table uh, showing figure 1. We can decide the water cement ratio by considering these two classes. First, table 5 of IS456. You can see here table 5. Minimum cement content, maximum water cement ratio and minimum grade of concrete for different exposures condition with normal weight aggregates of 20 mm nominal size. Here the water cement ratio given is especially for 20 mm aggregate according to the size of the aggregate uh, the water cement ratio will vary. Here uh, anyway this table refers to the water cement ratio for aggregate normal size of 20 mm. See here uh, you can see the exposure condition plain concrete and reinforced concrete. There are different exposure conditions and uh, there is a specific definition mentioned in IS 456 itself. You can go through that class for cl more clarity about this exposure condition. Mild condition, moderate condition, severe, very severe and extreme condition. Plain concrete. Plain concrete refers to the concrete which doesn't include any reinforcement. Especially used for any PCC works. And reinforced concrete, this concrete refers to the concrete which is having uh, steel reinforcement that is especially used for structural works. So here we see minimum cement content, maximum water cement ratio and minimum grade of the concrete. Uh, the same uh, headings are specified for reinforced concrete also. Uh, here I will give an example. Here you see that uh, there is a condition of severe. There is a condition of severe. So in plain concrete, uh, yes is referring should use M20 grade of concrete and the maximum water cement ratio should not exceed. 0 0.5 here you can use a for severe condition and plain concrete uh, for m20 grade concrete you can use either 0 0.4 5 4 6 4 7 4 8 4 9 or 5 0 
but it should not exceed more than 0 0.5 and the minimum cement content is 250 you can use at least a minimum cement content of 250 it, you can use higher cement content also as per the strength criteria whatever the criteria specified here is for uh, exposure conditions exposure condition this does not include any strength criteria anyway the strength will be decided by the structural designer i will i will give one example for reinforced concrete also here for reinforced concrete mild condition you should use a minimum grade of m20 and the maximum water cement ratio is 0.55 and minimum cement content is 300 see here whatever the water cement ratio specified here is the maximum and whatever the cement specified here is the minimum and the grade specified is also is, is minimum and the cement content specified here includes the cementitious content also for example here uh, here for moderate condition and uh, reinforced concrete they are pro they are showing a minimum cement content of 300 in this case you can add 20 250 cement and 50 fly ash this includes a cementitious content you can see here cement con in the notes cement content prescribed in the table is irrespective of the grades of the cement and is inclusive of the additions mentioned in 5.2 the additions such as fly ash or ground granulated blast furnace which you call as a tgbs may be taken into account in the concrete composition with respect to the cement content and the water cement ratio if the suitability is established as long as the maximum amounts taken in account do not exceed the limit of pozzolone and spe slag specified in IS 1489 part 1 and 455 respectively. Once again I am repeating, please note that the cement specified is the minimum and water cement ratio specified is the maximum water cement ratio. At any case water cement ratio should not exceed as specified below. Okay. Here you can see the graph that is IS10262-2019 uh, The graph is specified in the figure One of the figure of IS10262-2019 Here you can see there are three curves Curve 1, Curve 2 and Curve 3 Curve 1 is for cement having strength of You can consider Curve 1 is for is 33 grade cement And Curve 2 is for 43 grade cement And Curve 3 is for 53 grade cement so for while deciding the water cement ratio if you have are going to design a concrete for a particular grade of concrete and you know the strength of the cement that what you are using in that case there is a suggested water cement ratio for the initial designing process for example uh, i am saying that i am using a cement of opc 43 and I am planning to design for M30 grade of concrete the M30 grade of concrete M30 grade of concrete so in that case for M30 grade of concrete uh, as per the standard the strength will be around 38 in that case I need to plot a line I need to just plot a line here the line will come and touch curve 2 here that is OPC 43 grade cement and drop a line here just drop a line here you can see that the water cement ratio of around 4.3 is required see here I am giving you example I am planning to design for I need a compressive strength of 38 in that case just I need to plot a line here the line touch here see here oh, please draw you need to draw a straight line and uh, drop the line here see here uh, I need the water cement ratio of 0.42 for 425 for OPC 43 grade cement for a required strength of 38 so now I am planning I need a compressive strength of uh, 50 and I am using OPC 53 grade cement in that case I need to 50 this is the strength I draw a line straight like this and it will touch the curve 3 curve 3 is for OPC 53 grade 
and I drop a straight line here. So he, there is a water cement ratio required of around 0 0.39 for OPC 53 grade cement and the compressor strength required for concrete is 50. I think you have understand it clearly. See, finally we are going to discuss about the effect of water cement ratio on concrete strength. As earlier discussed, either excess water cement ratio or lower water cement ratio creates a problem in the concrete. Here we discuss excess water cement ratio. Excess water cement ratio makes the concrete more porous. More porous in the sense creates voids inside the concrete and decreases the strength of the concrete. Whenever there is an increase in porous voids in the concrete, which will decrease the density of the concrete and makes the concrete weak and decreases the strength of the concrete. At the strength, it may be either compressive strength or flexural strength. And one more thing, increases the drying strength case of the concrete. Uh, you, I will explain this properly. Uh, when the water content in the concrete increases, there is a chance for evaporation of more water and it will create the string case of the concrete and also develops the cracks. There is a more chance for development of cracks if the water cementation is excess. Finally, reduces the durability of the concrete. And one more thing, yeah, while we are doing any pumping works or anything, during if the water cement ratio is high, there is a chance for segregation of the concrete and leads to the blockage of the pipeline. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe this channel.